Hi developers, welcome to Gilgeekify, my name is Said Kohansol, I hope you have a good time. In this video I will create a site blocker Chrome extension. By that extension you can control the user's access to any website with blacklist or whitelist and block or allow user access on the client site using vanilla JavaScript. Then display the access denied error. You can block any domain or IP you want. Let's create an extension. This method is working on all Chromium based browsers. Create a folder and choose a name for it. I choose Site Blacker. We need two files manifest.json and app.js. Extensions are software programs built on web technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript that enable users to customize the Chrome browsing experience. You can read Google documentation about Chrome extensions. This is how we can define an extension configuration. Content scripts are files that run in the context of web pages. I will inject my JavaScript file app.js into all the URLs. I'm using all underscore URLs as a match pattern and that pattern is going to match all URLs with any scheme. Okay, now let's run that extension in the browser. Go to the extension option, turn on developer mode and use load unpacked, then select your extension folder. As you can see my extension has been loaded. Now let's code in JavaScript. First I'm gonna check my injected JavaScript. To create any limitations we need to get the URLs and then compare them with our URLs list. After any changes in your extension files you should click on the update button. Ok let's check some URLs. Domain and IP. As you can see, we can detect the URLs. Now I will define some functions. A function to add custom CSS with a style tag inside the website's head tag. And a function to create custom elements inside the website's HTML tag. And now I will define an array for my URLs list that can be blacklist or whitelist. By JavaScript includes method I will check that the current URL exists in my URLs list or not. Ok, now open an if statement. The includes method returns true if an array contains a specified value and returns false if the value is not found. Includes method is case sensitive. I'm gonna remove all lines from website HTML tag by manipulating DOM. Ok, let's check what's going to be happened.
as you can see all of the codes inside the HTML tag are going to remove automatically. Now to display an access denied error, let's add some CSS code for access denied error and create access denied element inside the HTML tag. Ok, now let's check it. I'm checking multiple websites. We are getting an access denied error when we are trying to access all of the URLs that exist inside the site underscore list array. Well, my site underscore list array is working as a blacklist. Now let's convert it to a whitelist which means the user can only access URLs that exist inside site underscore list array. You need only an exclamation mark character to convert that list to a whitelist. So without the exclamation mark it means a blacklist. Ok, let's check it again. I'm checking with multiple URLs. Well, now user can only access the URLs that exist inside the site underscore list array. So it's a whitelist now, and we are getting an access denied error when we are trying to access a URL that doesn't exist in the whitelist. Thank you for watching this video.